Hello students, welcome back to day 55 of PU2 Brahmastra series. So in today's class, we are just going to revise all the mechanisms, all the important mechanisms from the organic chemistry and at, at the end, I will be also giving you the list of derivations that you need to prepare, okay. So this is going to be a very small video, just note down these mechanisms and you can uh, like watch this video, make the list and you can revise them during your exams, okay. So all mechanisms in one shot clear so the first one is your sn1 mechanism okay so in sn1 mechanism we know it is a two step mechanism right so what happens in the first step step number 1 is so first we will write a reaction one second so first thing is you should write the reaction and then you should show the reaction right so i'll write like this ch3 c ch3 ch3 br in presence of OH minus gives me CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH, okay. Now coming to the first one here, that is step number one, okay. Step number one is what? Formation of carbocation, okay. So here what will happen? You have CH3, C, CH3, CH3, Br and then this Br goes out, okay and we get CH3, C, CH3, CH3 plus Br minus, okay. So, this is a slow step, clear. So, the formation of cation takes place here. Now step number 2 will be, step number 2 will be addition of or attack of nucleophile, okay. So what happens here, this carbocation which is formed, right, CH3, C, CH3, CH3 plus on that you have this OH minus, okay, OH minus can attack from this side and then we get CH3, C. CH3 OH okay clear so this is what this one will be your uh, uh, addition of nucleophile the second step and finally we get this product okay step 1 and step 2 next coming to SN2 mechanism SN2 mechanism we know it is a single step okay or one step reaction so first let me write down the example so suppose I have CH3 Br, okay, and then if OH minus attacks, we get CH3 OH. Now what is the mechanism followed here? So mechanism I can write like this: CH H H Br is there, okay, and OH minus attacks, right? So OH minus will attack from the back side. And we get a transition structure like this, C, Br, okay, and we have 3H attached like this. And this is called what? This is an intermediate formed, okay. After that what happens? This bond is formed and this bond is broken. So we get OH, C, H3 plus Br minus, okay. This bond breaks out okay that is your session 2 mechanism next from the chapter alcohols phenols and ethers the first mechanism that you have to focus is the hydrogenation of alkenes to give you alcohols right so first of all you can see uh, the first step is your protonation of alkene so this is there uh, here what happens alkene behaves as a nucleophile it attacks the water molecule and then once it attacks a water molecule we get a carbocation C plus Okay. Next one is the nucleophilic attack of the water molecule. So, O has a lone pair, it behaves as a nucleophile and attacks on the carbocation. Okay. And lastly, what happens? Deprotonation of alcohol. So, this H plus moves out. Okay. Again, the water molecule is there. It attacks on this H plus and there is deprotonation. Okay. So, these are the three steps that you should be writing for hydrogenation or I can say, uh, sorry. <coughs> preparation of alcohols from alkenes. The second one is your dehydration of alcohol. So, in this the first 
uh, thing is the protonation of alcohol. You take alcohol and H plus, it gets protonated to give you O plus H2. After that, there is formation of carbocation. So, this O plus H2 moves out and there is a formation of carbocation. After that, there is a deprotonation or formation of ethene by elimination reaction. So, this H comes here, this H goes like this H comes like bond comes here, the H is removed and we get a ethene here. Okay. The third reaction is the formation of ethers from alcohol. So, here also the first step is your protonation, we get CH3, CH2, O plus H2. After that, this O plus H2 is removed okay, and another molecule of ethanol behaves as a nucleophile and attacks on this electrophile and this O plus H2 moves out. right? So, we get a compound like this and O plus H is formed and lastly there is deprotonation and we get a ether. Okay? So, these were the three from your uh, chapter alcohols, phenols and ethers. Next coming to your aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid from that the first can be asked a general mechanism that is your nucleophilic addition reaction. So, here you should know the carbonyl compound is planar in molecule, a planar structure, nucleophile attacks here, O bond, this bond shifts here. Okay? So, that is after this attack has taken place, nucleo this particular which was a planar structure, now it gains a tetrahedral structure. O minus is formed, H plus is available in the medium, O minus takes this H plus and we get OH. Okay? That is the thing. Now, uh, especially questions are asked from the addition of your HCN. Okay, this is a popular question. So, first of all, what happened when HCN is present in the OH medium or in any basic medium, this CN minus uh, like OH minus abstracts this H plus. Okay? OH minus ab abstracts this H plus and we get this CN minus nucleophile formed. After that in this carbonyl compound the CN minus attacks this electrophilic carbon and O minus we form and a tetrahedral intermediate is formed. After that from the medium H plus is taken and we get OH and CN. Okay? Fine. Now coming to the chapter amines. So in amines there is one reaction that sh that name that should be known to you that is Gabriel thalamide reaction. So first of all starting with thalamide you take KOH. So this is a base what it will do it will abstract this H plus and you will get N minus and K plus salt is formed here. Okay. Now if you react with any Rx this is delta minus this is delta plus this is nucleo N group is again delta minus it will attack on this R and NR is formed. Okay. Once this NR is formed, just treat it with NaOH, the bond cleaves here. Okay. So, here we get COO minus Na plus, COO minus Na plus and this, uh, what I can say, um, this group is getting converted to primary amine there. Okay. So, these were the important mechanisms from the four organic chapters. Okay. Now, I will be giving you the list of important derivations. So, from the chapters uh, chemical kinetics, okay, focus on these three derivations that is 0th order integrated equation, first order integrated equation and first order in gaseous phase. Okay? This is the trending question can be asked so please prepare it thoroughly it is there in your NCRT book. After that half life for 0th and first order reactions this one also you should be knowing. Then half life relation what is this one? The, there is one relation that is T 99.9 percent is equal to 10 times of T 50 percent. Okay? So, how to prove this or how to derive this you should be knowing. Okay? After that this is from the chapter chemical kinetics. Okay? One of these derivation will definitely be asked so prepare accordingly. Then from Raoult's law okay? this is from your solutions chapter. Okay? So, from solutions chapter you have to uh, derive the Raoult's law, the equation that is P total is equal to P naught A x A plus P naught B x B and then you can just write it in one term that is P total is equal to P naught A x A okay, plus P naught B here I am writing 1 minus x A. Okay. Then you can multiply it and you can derive it. The question can be asked explain or derive the Raoult's law in terms of any one um, solute okay, or in terms of x a only or in any one term either in the term of solvent or in the term of solute. Any one term if it is asked then this derivation you have to prepare. Okay. 
So, yes yeah, students that is all and that was the list of all important uh, all important derivations sorry mechanisms and derivations. So, please prepare a list of that and keep revising these things ok. These are very very important and one of these questions will definitely be asked in your final exams ok. So, that is all students and now uh, so thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel and anything else you require please comment down we will definitely address it.